In the small town of Longmont, Colorado, a disturbing narrative of jealousy, violence, and vengeance unfolded. On an otherwise ordinary Tuesday morning, the peace was shattered by the echoes of gunshots that would forever scar the community. At the heart of this chilling story was Daniel Sanchez, a 31-year-old Longmont local with a turbulent history. Just two days before the dreadful incident, Sanchez was released from the Boulder County Jail, having been charged with false imprisonment, second-degree kidnapping, harassment, and domestic violence against his ex-girlfriend, 25-year-old Beatrice Cintora Silva. After their relationship ended, Sanchez couldn't come to terms with Beatrice moving on. An unexpected meeting to discuss the repayment of a loan spiraled into a heated argument after Beatrice received a text from her new partner. Sanchez, consumed by rage, snatched her phone and sent a threatening message to the unsuspecting man. I told you to leave her alone. You are going to pay. The ominous prediction soon turned into a horrifying reality. Sanchez's violent impulses weren't a new occurrence. Throughout their four-year relationship, Beatrice had endured Sanchez's abusive behavior, living in constant fear of him. His recent arrest came after a particularly brutal episode, where he had forcibly detained Beatrice in his vehicle, subjected her to verbal abuse, and threatened her life. On that fateful morning, Sanchez arrived at the sanctuary where Beatrice had sought refuge, armed with a deadly intention. The safe haven was Beatrice's sister's home, where Maria Cintora Silva lived with her husband, Max Aguirre. Both Maria and Max fell victim to Sanchez's ruthless shooting spree, alongside Beatrice. During the onslaught, one of the women made a desperate 911 call. The haunting conversation, abruptly cut off by the sound of gunshots, still echoes in the minds of the responders. Sanchez then took over the call, coldly announcing his intention to end his life before a final gunshot rang through the line. Upon arrival, the Weld County SWAT team discovered a scene of unimaginable horror. Four bodies were found. Beatrice, Maria, Max and Sanchez, who had indeed turned the gun on himself. Evidence found at the scene suggested that Sanchez had gained entry by shooting out the back door. A .45 caliber Glock handgun lay near his body, alongside 16 spent shell casings scattered around the house. Interestingly, the handgun's original box was found at Sanchez's home, though the receipt was missing, leaving the purchase date unclear. This tragic incident illustrates the lethal combination of jealousy, revenge, and domestic violence. It's a chilling reminder of the importance of taking threats seriously, addressing domestic violence promptly, and ensuring protection for victims. The need for a comprehensive post-release monitoring system for offenders is also starkly highlighted by this case. In its aftermath, the echoes of that terrifying 911 call, the sight of the illuminated Christmas lights adorning the crime scene, and the grief-stricken community members rushing to the site are etched in the memory of the small town of Longmont. The tragedy that occurred here serves as a painful lesson about the dire consequences of unchecked domestic violence and the urgency of addressing it. 911, what's the address of the emergency? 11 I need you to say the address. I can't understand you. 11 464 Okay, repeat the address one more time to make sure I have it right. Hello? Hello? Okay, this Hello? is 911. What's going on? I just shot everybody right now. You just shot everybody? Yeah. Okay, what is your name? Yeah, I'm Sanchez. Pablo Sanchez? Yeah. Okay, how many people did you shoot? Uh, three. You shot who people? Who else, Who did you shoot? My ex-girlfriend, because she was shooting on me with Roy. Okay. And, uh, I'm a Pablo, I need you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Just wait until we get there. Pablo? Yeah. Okay, just stay with me, okay? Okay. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Um, like six months ago, I called my girlfriend cheating on me. Uh-huh. And, uh... I told her to, to stop talking to her. Okay. She wouldn't do it. He pressed charges on me. She pressed charges on you for kidnapping? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for my girlfriend. She was, uh, okay. didn't know what she was doing. Okay, who else was there? Uh, what do you mean? Who else was there with with you tonight? Uh, the right other now? two people. Do you know who they were? Uh, her sister and her, and her uh, husband. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. How did you get there? Uh, driving. You drove. You drove yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you there by yourself? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What room are you in right now? Pablo. 